to the third video of the Gender Financing Projects video tutorial series, brought to you by Friends of Publish What You Fund and Publish What You Fund. In this video, we'll teach you how to track funding for gender equality by using the full OECD DAC Creditor Reporting System data, also known as CRS data. If you're new to what gender financing is and why it's important that we track it, please watch our overview video first. Our second video in the series with the donor tracker shows how you can track gender financing with the OECD DAC Gender Focused Aid Dashboard. This video is for people with some experience working with spreadsheets. In this video, we'll go over why you might want to look at the full CRS data compared to the Gender Focused Aid Dashboard that we showed you in the previous video. Then we'll cover how to download the full CRS data and how to use this data to track gender financing by country and sector. You can skip to parts or pause and rewind this video to follow steps at your own pace. So why might you want to look at the full CRS data instead of the Gender Focused Aid Dashboard? The CRS data underlies the Gender Focused Aid Dashboard, so they share many features, but the CRS has unique strengths. First, the CRS includes data on more donors. The Gender Focused Aid Dashboard only has data on OECD DAC donors. However, many non-OECD DAC donors are also increasingly using the Gender Equality Policy Marker to indicate to what extent their development assistant aims to promote gender equality. So if you're interested in other donors' gender financing, the full CRS data will be more useful to you. Second, the CRS includes data on all types of aid. The Gender Focused Aid Dashboard only shows funding that is eligible for screening against the OECD DAC's Gender Equality Policy Marker, known as Bilateral Allocable Aid. If you want to compare donors' gender financing to their total financing, including financing that is not eligible to be screened against the marker, you have to use CRS data. There are two ways to download full CRS data sets. You can access a specific CRS dashboard through the OECD STAT website, or download full CRS datasets as zip files through a separate link. To find the CRS dashboard, you go to the OECD STAT website, select Development, Flows based on individual projects, and Creditor Reporting System. This dashboard looks similar to the Gender Focused Aid dashboard. If you've used the Gender Focused Aid dashboard to track a DAC donor's gender financing, you can use this dashboard to compare that against their total development funding. This CRS dashboard doesn't show you how much of donor's funding has gender equality as a principal or significant objective. To see this, you have to download the underlying CRS data as a CSV. If you don't want to worry about which filters to select before downloading data or simply want to see all the data that was reported for a year, you can download full CRS data files as zip files. With the provided link, you'll see an overview of the CRS data files and when they were last updated. For this video, we'll download the latest CRS 2018 file. Keep in mind that these zip files are large CSV files that may take some time to download. Once you've downloaded your CRS data, click on your downloaded folder. When you open the folder, you'll see the CRS data in a text document format. Make sure to move that text file somewhere where you can find it so you can open it with Excel later. Now open a new Excel book. We're using Excel 2016. If you have a different version, things may look a bit different for you, but you should still be able to follow these steps. Go to your Data tab, select From Text, click on your CRS data, and select Import. A menu should pop up to ask you how to display the data. The settings for this first step look fine, so we go to Step 2. Here you can see how the data will be displayed in your Data Preview menu. You may have to play around a bit with the settings depending on your version. Our data doesn't look lined up too well, so for other, we're going to enter what's called the pipe symbol by holding shift in the backlash. Now our data looks neatly separated and we click next. Step three shows you options to set the date format. We'll choose the date month year format and click finish. For this pop-up menu, we can click to add it to the existing worksheet and press OK. Now Excel will import your data according to your settings. This may take a bit of time. Once it's ready, you can see the names and codes for data. We recommend checking out the CRS code list and technical guide to learn more about the data that's included. Just like in our previous video, you can add filters to the headers with the filter button. However, with large data sets like this, we recommend creating a pivot table so you can work with smaller sets of data at a time. To do this, go to the Insert tab and click Pivot Table. This menu shows all the selected data and suggests for the pivot table to be created onto a new worksheet. Click OK to create your new pivot table. Once it's ready, you'll see a Pivot Table Fields menu on your right, which allows you to select the data you want to look at. If this menu is closed and you can't see it, go to anywhere on your Pivot Table, right-click, and select Show Field List to make it appear. Now we'll show you examples of how you can use this data to track gender financing by country and sector. We'll also provide you with useful tips along the way. 
Let's say we want to know how much of donors' funding for Kenya is gender financing. When we go to our pivot table, we can drag donor name to the filter area. We'll keep all selected to include all donor funding. Then we search for a recipient name, click on the right arrow, filter for Kenya, and bring it under the rows area. Now we find and drag USD disbursement to the values area. It will show you the count of disbursements, which is how many disbursements were made, rather than the amount of money that was dispersed. To change this, click and select value field setting and change to sum. To display the amounts in full dollars, click on your pivot table, go to the Analyze tab, click on Field Items and Sets, Calculated Field, and we'll name this field Spending. For the formula, we'll select USD Disbursement, and multiply it by a million by adding an asterisk and one and six zeros behind it. We click Add, OK. And now we go to the value field settings again, go to Number Format, click Number, remove the decimals, use the separator, press OK. And now you can easily read that donors disperse a total of $3.3 billion for Kenya. You can remove the earlier disbursement field by clicking on it and selecting Remove Field. Copy important numbers into a separate seller sheet so you don't lose them when you make any changes to your pivot table. For our example, we'll note the total funding next to our pivot table by copying and pasting the values of the grand total. To track gender financing, search for the gender field. With this, you can filter funding labeled with the gender equality policy marker. Two for principal, one for significant, zero for not targeted, and unscreened funding is labeled blank. Drag the gender field under recipient name to see the breakdown of gender financing for Kenya. Sort the funding categories from smallest to largest by selecting A to Z. Now we see the smallest portion of funding for Kenya has gender equality as a principal objective, and most of the funding is unscreened. It's important to keep in mind that not all types of aid are eligible to be screened against the gender marker. To only look at eligible types of aid, known as bilateral allocable aid, search and select Aid T, bring it under Filter, and select the aid type shown on screen. Now use a sum formula to add donors' principal and significant gender financing. To calculate the percentage of gender financing, divide the gender financing by the total funding. Go to the Home tab and select Percentage. And now we see that of donors' total funding for Kenya, 20.5% was marked to be gender financing. Now let's say we want to know how much of donors' funding to agriculture targets gender equality. We'll start by using our previous pivot table. We're interested in gender financing to agriculture on a global scale, so we clear and remove the recipient name field from the rows list. Add sector name as a filter and select the agricultural sector as shown. We still have our eligible A types filtered and gender in our rows section, so we'll see the breakdown of donors' eligible gender financing in absolute terms. This time, instead of using formulas, let's use our pivot table to calculate percentages. Drag another USD disbursement to the values area. Click and change it to sum, and for show values as, select percentage of grand total. Rename it and now we'll see the absolute numbers and percentages side by side. For absolute numbers, we can use a sum formula to calculate that in 2018, a total of 3.8 billion that went to the agricultural sector targeted gender equality in some way. We can also add the percentages and click to show this as a percentage. Now we'll see that donors' gender financing to agriculture made up about 38% of all eligible funding to the sector in that year. Our final tip, play around with these fields. Try filtering by purpose codes, for instance, to track funding to women's rights organizations, or filter by channel name to track which organizations receive funding to deliver gender equality projects. The CRS contains a lot of interesting data, so take your time and use the resources linked below to navigate it and maximize its usefulness. We hope this video was helpful in showing you how you can download and use full OECD DAC CRS data to track gender financing. If you want to learn how to track gender financing using IADI's Deep Portal, which also has gender equality project documents and results, click below to watch the third and final tutorial video of this series. 
You can read about our latest study to track gender financing by clicking on the link in the description. You can also stay up to date by following us on Twitter or using the hashtag gender8data. Thanks for watching!